The ASABE 7th Historic Landmark commemorates the first successful self-scouring steel plow. John Deere was a pioneer, inventor, and entrepreneur who single-handedly revolutionized American agriculture by developing and marketing the world's first self-polishing cast steel plow. Deere was born in Vermont in 1804 and grew up to work as a blacksmith's apprentice. By 1825, he was famous for the literal and figurative polish of his farm equipment. But in 1836, when Vermont's economy began to suffer, he decided to move to the Midwest. Only two days after arriving in Grand Detour, Illinois, Deere had built a forge and was in business. Deere quickly learned that the cast iron plows they brought with them from the east were unable to cope with the thicker, tackier soil of the Midwest. Farmers had to stop every few feet to scrape off the damp earth that clung to the plowshare. With some help from a fellow Vermonter, Major Leonard Andrus, Deere invented a remedy. He shaped steel from an old sawmill blade for the plowshare and joined it to a specially curved wrought iron mold board. He polished both parts so smooth that the damp soil would not stick to them. Demonstrations to local farmers convinced him the plow would turn the prairie soil. Deere's self-polishing plow, later patented, was a sensation from its first trial run in 1837. Though he and Andrus soon had a booming business, Deere never stopped refining his designs. As he used to say, if we don't improve our product, somebody else will. An ASAE commemorative plaque is located at the site of the John Deere blacksmith shop in Grand Detour, Illinois. A replica of his shop is open to the public and looks much as it did in 1836. By 1855, Deere was selling over 13,000 plows per year. He died in 1886, but the corporation he formed in 1868, Deere & Company, survives as one of the nation's oldest and largest manufacturers.